Hi, and welcome to the Related Home Group series. My name is Pastor Chris O. here at Full Gospel Assembly, and we're thrilled to be taking a series that looks at relatives. Specifically, how do we love our family? You know, I've been pastoring for a while, and I can't recall a home group series where we specifically looked at how you're doing in showing love to your your natural family this is going to be really interesting you know the, you have to understand that the concept of family is something that has actually come from god it's part of god's plan more than that though of all of the different metaphors that god could have used to describe his love for us or his kingdom god chose to use the family metaphor we are grafted into God's family when we are saved by faith. He wants us to call, God wants us to call him Abba Father. We are to relate to other Christians as brothers and sisters in Christ. You see that family language? You know, you could wonder why was that used? I think it's partly because family love is something that everyone can understand. Even if you're a simple farmer out in the countryside or in some remote island, you understand family love through to the most sophisticated academic. And God wanted to explain to us that his love was as natural or as so fundamentally core to who we are, uh, just like family. But quite often as Christians, we jump straight to the biblical commands of loving your brothers and sisters in Christ, and then you got you got these epic sermons, while we skip the part of I don't actually like my brother. Oh, I don't get along with my father and I, my mother. Like, and so with this series, what we're trying to do is we're gonna slow down a little bit. I'm gonna look at these commandments that God has and break it down, beginning with our immediate family, the family that God has placed you in. To help us, we've got four families that are going to be sort of our case studies, a little bit of a panel for us. So let's meet them right now. Hi, this is the Wu family. We migrated from Malaysia about five years ago, a family with teens, four <laughs> girls. Hi, I'm He Chin. Um, I um, like Paul and family, I migrated from Australia, from Malaysia to Australia. Uh, I met my husband at university. I have a, a grown-up uh, children, a, a son and a daughter, and uh, they're both married. And I have an, um, and I've also become a, a new grandma. Hi guys, I'm Isaac. Um, I'm a young adult serving 1830s 30s ministry. Um, my wife is Jo, who helps out with kids ministry, and this is my lovely mum. Hi all. I'm married to Charles, and um, Zach is twin to Jerisha Ho, which whom all of you probably know. Hi, I'm Hubert. I am a primary school teacher, as well as one of the worship leaders at church. And I'm Harold, and I'm uh, the kids pastor at, at FGA, as you all know. Um, and we're, we're grown-up brothers, and so, yeah, we're adults now. Fantastic. Hey, so can I ask you, like... Um, how do you show love in your family? What's it like uh, in your family, your family culture? Yes, yeah, so um, so how I would describe our family culture is that we are really a, a very open and transparent kind of culture. Um, we're, I was bringing this up earlier with Hubert, and, and we were saying we're really in in our in your face with one another. Heavily, heavily. Yeah, yeah we always. Um, speaking on top of each other trying to get our point across before you know but but we we like to communicate that's that's the type of people we are whether it's <laughs> better or for worse right guys <laughs> yeah that's it. um all right serena isaac yeah you with young adult um children we really try to spend time together by make making our you know dates for breakfast family dinners on sunday nights and we try to plan a holiday once a year at least 
Um, so like my mom said, my family's really relational, but how I show love to them depends on the individual. So my dad loves to receive words of affirmation. So I make it a point always to praise his cooking. My sister and my mom love uh, quality time. So I always make it a point to take them up for meals, although I don't do as much for Jerusha. <laughs> So my family is quite casual and egalitarian and uh, we show our love for each other by being very involved in each other's life. So we talk shop a lot, not, not for purposes of comparison, but really to be engaged and really from our heart interested in what we're doing now. Yeah, nice. I think I come from a family that talk shop <laughs> as well. So I uh, fully get it. But hey, uh, since you know we're broaching this topic and we're introducing family love, what do you think some of the challenges are um, in trying to show love to your family members? Because I imagine like parents want to love their kids, right? Like at some level, you, you children want to to show love to their siblings and their parents, but it's often tricky. Just wanting to is not the same as love being communicated. So what are some of these barriers? Um, Hey Chen, what do you think? So because we talk shop a lot, right? So we can be quite enthusiastic about what we do now, there and then, right? And sometimes it can be difficult if one of the members of the family says without a job or going through a family breakup, then it's quite hard to be enthusiastic about such matters. So in such situation, we, we would like really hang back and maybe talk about a neutral subject, like how are you going with your fitness? How are you going with your health? And um, and, and really comes down to uh, trying to communicate a style to show that we still care, we, we're here for you, and, um, and, and maybe temper down a bit on the enthusiasm in, in, in such challenging times. Yeah, being kind of aware of where everybody's at in the context for people listening? Um, I think that it's the hardest to show love when you're part, um, when you get caught up in the moment. Let's say you're in an argument, like yesterday actually I was in an argument with my dad um, and things were said that shouldn't have been said <laughs> and that just rejects the room to show love to them and I just think that's the biggest barrier that I have. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks for being so honest, uh, Aaron. You know, uh, Jesus elevated and honored families when he chose a family as his own, as his own home for when he entered the world to save us. Jesus used a relational model, the family, to, to be his own setting. He didn't come without a family. He wasn't like an alien who just showed up, uh, you know, um, on some ship. He was born into a home before his earthly life and ministry. Let's read today's anchor verse. It's the one that we're going to use for the whole series. It's in Galatians 5, 3, 13 to 14. For you were called to freedom, brothers. You see the family language? Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love, serve one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Over this whole series, Related, it's called Related, uh, we're going to be looking at how do we fulfill the law by loving our neighbors as ourselves. This includes your immediate family. I hope you have a great discussion. God bless. Oh,